It was uh, January of 2012. The last Wednesday in October 2011. Like October of 2013. I went home that night and found a lump. I found a lump on my right breast. I went in to see my doctor, and uh, he said that, yes, it was, in fact, breast cancer. Stage three inflammatory breast cancer, which is, you know, pretty rare and very, very aggressive. And we just said, okay, how, how, how do we fight this? You know, what, what do we do? doctor, you know, he said, you have cancer. I didn't even think about myself. All I could think was my family, my husband, my children. What if they lose me? Who is going to take care of them? It was pretty hard and, you know, she's my best friend and I didn't want to see her going through that. The hardest part was figuring out what to do. It was taking that first step. At that particular time, I had been unemployed wasn't working, didn't have any benefits. I'm employed, but I didn't have any health insurance. I get a call from the oncologist, and the young lady tells me that they cannot see me because we don't have insurance. Coleman helps a lot of other you know, organizations. Working with Susan Coleman, the organization itself, it introduced me to being able to be my own healthcare advocate because they have, they provide resources, but they also are very encouraging and supportive as far as your awareness. Within a couple of weeks time, they said, you're, you're covered, we're going to help you. I was able to have my mastectomy at no charge to me. I didn't have to pay anything. They help find charities, help find resources for me when I couldn't. They make funds available where they may pay someone's rent, they may pay someone to come in and do housekeeping for someone, may have somebody go do your grocery shopping. There's so many different things that you don't think about. I didn't realize that they were out in the community helping people every day. from my diagnosis and I'm in complete remission. I couldn't have done any of this without the good Lord and the people from the Coleman Association. If it had not been for Coleman Austin, I wouldn't be sitting here. I wouldn't be talking to you. And uh, I truly believe my family would be without me. You know, I might not have been a survivor. What you do, it does make a difference. I'm the difference. I'm a survivor. I thought, you know, why, why would they want to help me, you know? But they do, they'll help you, they'll help anybody. They're very sweet, very caring people, and I really appreciate them. And that's what, you know, Coleman does. They encourage you, but it also supports the fact that this is a deadly disease, and they are fighting for that cure. With all my heart, one day we will have a cure for this disease and um, I hope and pray that no more moms will have to be mourned you know because they're gone their sisters daughters a, a best friend I really am blessed to still be here it makes you want to share your story but let people know that there's hope fight fight for your life